G'day folks, my name's Kerry. I'm a fossil preparator from Flinders University in South Australia, and I'm here at the Australian Age of Dinosaurs working on a specimen of Geniornis. Now, Geniornis is not a dinosaur as such, but it is a giant bird. What we've got here is the underside of a Geniornis. You can quite clearly see the claws on the feet of this bird as the animal sat down in the mud and became trapped. This all goes all the way down to the legs, zigzagging across, the bird clearly in a, in a squatting, sitting position. Uh, Jenny Ornis was a large herbivorous bird. Um, you know, this one has been trapped in the mud at Lake Calabona Res Fossil Reserve in South Australia. What we've got here is the very underside of this giant bird. So from right up the front, we've got a little bit of the breastbone. We've got a few little vertebra in there and the very, very last little shreds, some ribs, some of the main body. We've got both legs, both femurs, all the way up to the tips of the toes. It's important to remember that Jenny Ornus is not a giant emu. Emus are a different type of bird to Jenny Ornus. Jenny Ornus is much more closely related to ducks and geese. And in fact, you can kind of think of it as a giant goose walking around Australia 40,000 years ago.